Hey guys, how are we doing? Back on another video from Geekdom101, and we are checking out Stardust Breaker Explained. Like, what actually is this move that Gogeta uses? What is it? What does it do? How does it work? How powerful is it? Where did the idea come from? All these questions I'm sure Geekdom is going to answer, because my god, is he the man when it comes to Dragon Ball stuff. As soon as he does like a video explaining something, I love it. It's not just how this thing works, it's like where the idea was conceived from, who did the initial drawings on such such and why the names anyway let's let's check out stardust breaker explained <laughs> the stardust breaker is gogeta's most famous maneuver and yeah. one that was voted by many of you in the community Ooh, tab over the super ghost Kam kamikaze attack of the That'd be interesting to see guide. Like that. So on this edition, we're going to look at the Stardust Breaker, otherwise oh known as God. the Soul Punisher. Right, cool. Both names are official. But doesn't it just hurt Gogeta, people that are that evil? By the end of this video, or am I thinking of something else? I'm thinking of something else. The move, not just I think. In the original Dragon Ball Z movie 12 oh, appearance against Janemba, Janemba yeah. but also its great return Broly. in Dragon Ball Super Broly. Kill. Technique guide. There we go. <laughs> yeah. As I said in the intro to this video, the move has multiple different names. Soul Punisher, Soul Striker, and of course Stardust Breaker. Stardust Breaker. And interestingly enough, both of these names are indeed official based on the video games because in neither of the two appearances of this technique, whether it be in the Dragon Ball Z Fusion Reborn film or in Dragon Ball Super Broly, mm -hmm is the name of the move stated by Gogeta. He just, oh, he just uses it. Move in uh, okay, interesting. Now, I want to go back and look at the first huh. appearance of this technique first before we talk about Dragon Ball Super Broly, and that would be in Dragon Ball Z Movie 12. Okay, it's Janemba. Katsuno Fusion. Goku, Such a cool Vegeta, film. Janemba's character Fusion, design is so boss. The fact he has a sword as well just adds to it. It's like, ah! Pretty similar translation, <laughs> yeah, no yeah. which way you want to say it. And this movie, of course, the villain would be Janemba. Mm -hmm. And once Goku and Vegeta were able to perfect the fusion pose and form Gogeta, Janemba was curtains. And the final move that Gogeta did on Janemba Ooh. to finish him off after pummeling him for several seconds was the Stardust Breaker, which at the time had no name. Okay, now, it's interesting they didn't have a name because usually you have people you shout it. it, it Final Flash! It creates this sort of... Um, <laughs> Big like bang a small attack! handful of energy particles, like key sort of and small, shiny little stars that he has inside of his, you know, inside of the palm of his hand, and he flings them into Janemba's chest, and we see the back of Janemba completely explode and his entire body disintegrate. Now, on the <laughs> surface, this may look like an attack that would just destroy whoever it hits and i think the reason for this is because it looks remarkably like a move that goku used in the past huh. if we rewind to dragon oh. ball z movie 6 during the final battle with meta cooler uh the last final meta cooler cable cooler whatever you want to call it <laughs> that thing who raises his hand up in the air and does a move that's very similar that completely obliterates metal cooler oh, yeah. however in this movie, there appears to be a bit of a side effect and or this is a different technique. In fact, it is a different technique, even though it looks like similar from yeah. movie six. I know that when I was a kid, I did think they were the same technique, just a variation of it. Oh, right, okay. you know, I never wrong. thought like that so about Dragon Ball Z when I watched theory, it all over and I was going to in theory, because it's never really explained in the body of the film itself, but essentially this move is not necessarily one that's supposed to damage the opponent. Now, obviously, Janemba feels pain from this because Janemba is a being of pure evil. I mean, look, his, his eyes are just like, what the, the film, frickin' hell just happened to me? <laughs> the embodiment of pure evil from the soul cleansing machine in Enma Dio's realm that happens to possess an Oni. And by the end of the film, it appears like the Stardust Breaker, the Soul Punisher, is more so of a cleansing technique to rid the Oni of the evil and bring him back to his original, you know, benevolent state. Right, okay. That's the prevailing theory among the fandom and the one that does seem to make the most sense based on the body of the film. However, the move does indeed damage evil because we see Janemba screaming in Yeah, he's like, oh my god, what is happening to me? <laughs> this but is a bad thing. Also a cleansing I am having a bad day. Now, obviously, if you choose Gogeta in the video games and he happens to have the move in the games, you're going to hurt whoever you hit with it because it's a video game. Yeah, you're going to have to. It doesn't matter if they're good or evil. Could you imagine? Game, it's a game. <laughs> no, but you're playing as a good guy. It's not going to work. We're talking about the actual Damn. body of the film, so we have to put that aside and just not even talk about it here. So, essentially, that is what the original Soul Punisher but then he uses it against Broly. can do. But when we get to Dragon Ball Super Broly, uh. there's a couple of different 
opinions here that have been discussed among the fandom about how this move was incorporated into this film. Now remember, Dragon Ball Super Broly was written by Akira yeah. Toriyama in script, but Toriyama did not actually animate or work on any storyboards for this film. So presumably speaking, Toriyama did not write in the Soul Punisher hmm. Stardust Breaker to be used against Broly. That was not his idea, presumably, it was presumably. to show the staff at Toei decided to well, put it in there. Okay. Hmm. Really as an Easter egg. When you go see the movie for the first time and you see Gogeta do the move, I can tell you from all the times I saw it in theaters, it got a huge reaction. People loved it because it like, is It was the one Easter time at the cinema where I heard people cheering movie. like when this so fight was going on. It's like, yes! <laughs> but when we're about the move itself, there's a couple of different ideas here. So, during the fight with Broly, when things get very intense, we have Gogeta Blue, who is significantly oh, so more powerful than the theoretical Dragon Ball Z Gogeta could ever be because Goku and Vegeta themselves have evolved not blue. just in power but also and then in transformation. They fused with blue. blue being beyond <laughs> anything in Z. So Gogeta hits Broly with the technique in the movie and it does not finish him off. Instead, Broly just powers up in rage and raises Key hmm. even more. Oh, okay. And then Gogeta smiles at him. Now, there are two different theories here Ooh, interesting. behind what actually happened. The first one being sort of a highball of Broly's powers in a way, but also one that makes He's sense not in the story. Evil. And that is the fact that the Stardust Breaker was just not powerful enough to kill Broly. Broly was able to survive it, and Broly, although he would go on to lose the fight, lasted a very, very long time against a very powerful warrior. I've always said... Broly went down fighting Mate, in this he fight. He did. You can't deny that. Nah, Broly he was, hung in there with Gogeta for a very Gogeta long Blue, time. Man, like, and uh, remember, he is not uh, a fused character, and Gogeta is. So yeah. Just think about the incredible power Broly has. Yeah, man, he was able to go up against that. It's that. like powerings oh, oh. that Gogeta gave him. So theory number one, it appears like Gogeta smiles because he sees that Broly is. You know, he nerfed the move. So Gogeta hit him with the Stardust Breaker. He smiles because Goku and Vegeta are, of course, from the Saiyan warrior race. race and yeah. they're happy to see that Broly was able to tank this move and see that, okay, this guy's going to be a lot tougher than we had hmm. previously thought. And we're having a great time fighting him. You know, that goes along with Goku and Vegeta's characters in the series. They're having a great time. Yeah, we love destroying all these Broly, surroundings, these the volcanoes earth, and everything else. And the guy's uh... out of control. <laughs> Theory number two, however, is that if the Stardust Breaker is a move that purely cleanses the evil from the And it didn't body, work on Broly, then I'm like, oh. It would not work on Broly because He's good, the yeah. that Broly there we go. in the Dragon Ball like Super film is not inherently evil. Remember, Broly is, in the film, misunderstood. He's being somewhat played by his father, yeah, by Paragus. Frieza. Mm. He's not an evil guy. He has a pure heart. And it's said several times in the movie, including by chi who ends up saving him at the end of the film. So, the smile from Gogeta was more so him realizing that Broly is not a yeah, bad guy. Yeah, I like that theory. But then that makes me wonder if Gogeta knew that Broly was Why would he do the Kamehameha to try and finish Broly? If he knew that he was not inherently evil and that Broly survived the Stardust Breaker because he is not evil and thus there is no evil to cleanse out of his body, why would he just a yeah. few minutes later try okay, to yeah, kill yeah, Broly that. with the cosmic Kamehameha? <laughs> it always left me scratching my head because I yeah, feel okay, like that does contradict it a little something bit. else to beat the guy and not kill him but maybe knock him out but it's clear that that Kamehameha was meant to take well yeah because they made out. it so tense with the wish but, and everything hey it could be possible that maybe Gogeta didn't even know how strong he was yeah. as a <laughs> Oops. character Oops. that final Kamehameha. first time we've done this Oops. either theory I think works <laughs> However, I personally have seen more fan side with the latter than the former. I think a lot of people seem to think that the Stardust Breaker is purely a cleansing technique. And if you think that, you won't get an argument from me because I think we've that. seen it work in the past. The way it worked on Janemba, and then if you here? used it. Yeah. I chose to put both theories in this video here because I wanted to make sure everybody got every aspect of yeah, the technique sense. and what people are saying about it. Says Obviously, I would love to hear from you. I would love to know which one you think it makes the most sense as far as what the Soul Punisher Stardust Brick can do. Either way, as of right now, the move is still a signature Gogeta technique, but it does make you wonder, why didn't he use this move against Omega Shenron in mm -hmm. Dragon Ball GT? We know that Omega Shenron is pure evil. Pure evil, right, why would yeah. he not nah. try to <laughs> just wipe him out with this move? Would it have even worked? I mean... <sighs> 
that's always been a head scratcher for me. So that actually lends credence to. But then you never know. They may have thought, hmm, hmm that's just movie stuff. Else. We Maybe can't throw movie evil, stuff into the main canon of our story we're making. Their body is so powerful <laughs> that it can actually block the effect of the move. That would make sense. But Gogeta didn't even try it against Omega Shenron and GT. So. Thank you for watching this edition of the Technique Gun, and thank you for voting in the community tab as always. I will provide a new poll very soon for y'all to vote for, but in the meantime, I will have other Technique Guides coming up, not to mention I'm looking forward the, to the Kamikaze Super attack, Ghost right? Kamikaze attack is also coming. I got a Funko Pop of that. Although it did not win the poll, <laughs> it is one that was chosen by some, so you will get that Technique, and then we'll do some more. So, I got Sweet. videos planned for the next year or two on the technique so it should be a fun look back Sweet. thank you again love you take care of yourself and we'll talk soon all right that was cool i like to think of the whole like evil thing and that's why he's smiling because he's used it on probably and then yeah I, it could be like that because it's the first time they're using that whole like body of gogeta and having to go all out to just keep him back so how much probably is pushing him that he's had he's forced to use the Kamehameha, because otherwise, if he doesn't stop him, then it, he is just going to rage out, and yeah. That was cool. I liked that. That was awesome. And uh, I'll be sure to check out that Kamikaze, um, Gotenks, uh, Super Ghost Kamikaze attack one when it comes out. But until then, thank you guys very much for watching. What do you guys think of that? What do you guys think of this? Click like, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave comments down below. Let me know what I should watch and discuss in future videos, and I'll see you guys. Here's all you guys, next time.